வணக்கம் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஐ எம் எஸ் எஸ் பி சுதா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் உமன் திருச்செங்கோடு நவ் வி டாக் அபவுட் மேக்ரோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் மீனிங் பை மேக்ரோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் மேக்ரோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் இஸ் எ பிரான்ச் ஆஃப் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் கன்சர்ன் வித் த பிஹேவியர் அண்ட் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஹோ எக்கானமி அஸ் எ ஹோல் மேக்ரோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் ப்ரைமரி ஸ்டடீஸ் லார்ஜ் ஸ்கேல் எக்கனாமிக் ஃபினாமினா லைக் இன்ஃப்ளேஷன் ப்ரைஸ் லெவல்ஸ் ரேட் ஆஃப் எக்கனாமிக் க்ரோத் நேஷனல் இன்கம் கிராஸ் டொமஸ்டிக் ப்ராடக்ட் அண்ட் சேஞ்சஸ் இன் அன்எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் நேச்சர் ஆஃப் மேக்ரோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் மேக்ரோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி நோனஸ் தியரி ஆஃப் இன்கம் இட் இஸ் கன்சர்ன்ட் வித் த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்கனாமிக் ஃப்ளக்சுவேஷன்ஸ் அன்எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் இன்ஃப்ளேஷன் ஆர் டிஃப்ளேஷன் அண்ட் எக்கனாமிக் க்ரோத் As per A.G. Akhle, macroeconomics concern itself with such variables such as aggregate value of the output of an economy, extent to which resources are employed, size of national income and general price level. Next, importance of macroeconomics. Till now, we have studied the nature and the scope of macroeconomics. Now, let us understand the importance of macroeconomics. macroeconomics in multiple areas macroeconomics is a vital concept that considers the whole nation and works for the economy's welfare next it helps prevent economic fluctuation and prepare for any financial crisis or long term negative situations the fiscal and monetary policy system depends entirely on the analysis of widely held macroeconomic condition in the nation Macroeconomics mainly aims to help the government and the financial bodies maintain economic stability in the country. This stream of economics gives us a broader perspective of social or national issues. It ensures or checks the country's economy and financial position properly. Analyzing macroeconomics theories and issues helps economics figure out the causes and possible solution to such macro level problems. Next, scope of macroeconomics. First one is theory of income and employment. Macroeconomic analysis is explained which factors determine the level of national income and employment and what causes fluctuation in the level of income output and employment. employment next one is theory of general price level and inflation macroeconomic analysis shows how the general price level is determined and further explains what causes fluctuation in it next one is theory of economic growth and development my macroeconomic consists of the theory of growth of economic and development it explains the mac causes of under development and poverty the fourth one is macro theory of distribution macro theory of distribution deals with the relative shares of rent wages interest and profit in the national income next one is similarities and dissimilarities between micro and macro economics first one is meaning microeconomic means it is study the individual units in a country's economy macroeconomic means it is the study of a nation's economy and aggregates nature of microeconomics it is static nature of macroeconomic is dynamic area of action microeconomics is it is applied to the internal environment macroeconomics is it is applied to the external environment scope of microeconomics is deals with the several issues related to a demand and supply equilibrium product pricing private consumption next uh, macroeconomics deals with several issues related to the income employment distribution money general price level focus in microeconomics is studied individual market segment in the economy macroeconomic studies the entire economy of a country as a whole circular flow of income the circular flow of income means the understanding flow of production of goods and services income and expenditure in an economy it shows the redistribution of income in a circular manner between the production unit and the household these are land labor capital and entrepreneurship 
the payment of the contribution made by fixed natural resources is known as rent the payment for the contribution made by human worker is known as wage the payment for the contribution made by capital is known as interest the payment for the contribution made by entrepreneurship is known as profit circular flow of income in a two sector economy it is defined as the flow of payments and receipts of for goods and services and factors services between the household and the firm sector of the economy in this diagram the out, outer loop of the diagram shows that flow of factors services from household and firms and the corresponding flow of factor payments from firms to household the inner loop shows the flow of goods and services from firms to household and the corresponding flow of consumption or uh, expenditure from household to firms the entire amount of money which is paid by firms as factor payments is paid back by the factors owner to the firms thank you